So, I think I've mentioned on this podcast many, many times, or sorry, on this fucking stream, live stream, that one of the interesting and mostly, one of the most interesting things about Brendan, right? And one of the things I can't get my head around, I really can't figure out, and I've tried to make sense of it with my own stories and anecdotes from my own life, is the ridiculous lying he does. Like, he lies so much about... And the, and the thing, the thing I, I don't understand, I guess, because I've grown up with a lot around a lot of boys. I played a lot of sports. Um, I know what boys are like when they get into gassing each other up and just embellishing stories, make themselves look cool in front of their friends and shit. I know what that's about. I know when you feel inadequate or you just want to blend in or you just want to feel welcomed in a group, or you don't want to get bullied and you make up some stories. I know. I know what it's about with guys. And lie. I know. Guys lie a lot, especially within guy groups. But I've never in my life seen somebody who lies about the absolute, the range of stuff he lies about. He lies about really like stuff that you probably maybe would lie about in your career to make yourself look better. And also the most mundane of thing that no one cares about. And he also lies about it also. It just doesn't make any sense. Just he lies across the board all the time. It's consistent lies, right? And this is another good example of it. So this is a tweet from his account. I guess when he was on tour, and it says the following. I think before he did his Fort Wayne gig, of course, right? And it says this. Fort Wayne showed up with some official Trash Panda tour art near the Summit City Comedy Club, right? And he's standing outside of the of the building, I guess, where the comedy club is, in front of a mural with a panda in it that's got an ice cream on it, and the, and the panda's trying to lick the droplets of the ice cream as it's just dropping down. So kind of going back to the whole Trash Panda motive he's doing. Now, in the caption, he's making it seem like Fort Wayne, the comedy club he's, he's, he's performing at, commissioned a street artist to paint this mural outside of the building in order to tie in with his comedy tour that he's doing, Trash Panda. That's what he's making it seem as. Now, he's not saying it explicitly. He's not saying on here, thank you, Fort Wayne, and thank you at whatever artist for painting this amazing mural for my Trash Panda tour. He's not saying that. He's being clever. He's saying Fort Wayne showed out, which is basically saying, you know, they showed love, appeared, whatever it may be, gave me props with some official Trash Panda Tour 2022 art near the Summit City Comedy Club. That's what he's basically doing. And in the hashtags here, there's nothing about um, hashtag LOL, hashtag that's not mine. Hashtag, there's no like clearing up of the of the joke here on the hashtag. He just leaves it as it is. And you know why this is a lie? Because somebody in the Friday Kids subreddit linked to this article that I got up on here from originally, where was this article written? I think it was 2018 or something, right? This article is from 2018. It says, look, look, this is the following. The panda mural to adorn the star building downtown. A panda trying to lick ice cream off its nose is the latest mural planned for downtown Fort Wayne um, Improvement District announced on Tuesday. Working on a painting which features an un upturned ice cream cone on top of an animal's head is expected to begin next month on the Star Financial Group. It says as follows. I'm so excited to paint this mural in the downtown Fort Wayne and be proud of the art um, This Way Valley activation project said artist Tammy Davis. Again, notice, no mention of Brendan or the Trash Panda tour here. Downtown Fort Wayne's public realm experience is essential to sustaining the momentum and growth of the destination of choice, says Bo Brown. So Bill Brown, the president of the Downtown Association. He credited Art This Way, the Fort Wayne Chamber of Commerce Foundation, and Lincoln Financial Group, and the downtown advocates and businesses and property developers for their collaboration. So all these people are involved. No mention of Thick Boy, no mention of Tiger Cum, no mention of Brendan Schaub, no mention of Big Brown, just all these people. So for whatever reason, he just purposely lied about this. Why? Why? Now, in the big scheme of things, it doesn't really matter, right? Nothing to get your nose turned up against or to kind of get your knickers in a twist about or to lose any sleep over. But it's such an unnecessary lie, which makes me... which cause The thing about that, because if, if, if that's somebody that I knew who would lie about something so in, insignificant like that, it would also make me question big stuff you talk about. Like, I can't believe anything you say now. If you're willing to lie about stuff that I don't necessarily care about, I can't disprove, and that really doesn't serve me any purpose or you any purpose, why would I believe anything else you say? Do you know what I mean? It's such a bizarre lie. I just don't get it. 
I don't understand. What do you guys say in chat? I don't get it. Why do you think somebody would lie like this? Is this like a what's that thing? What's that thing called when you're um it's not habitual? What's the word when you're like a is it pathological liar? What do you think it's about? Do you think it's just a? Do you think he's just that desperate to impress and to appear like he's a successful person? They just consistently has to lie and lie. And, what is it about it? What is it? What do you guys think? Pathological liar, yeah. Because a part of me thinks, because I remember, who's a good example of it? Because you know there's people out there that do that thing where to seem more bigger than they are, they'll be like, we, us. You know what I mean? They use all those kind of adjectives and shit to describe something that they're doing to make it either seem like they've got a big audience or to make it seem like they're working with a big team. I'm going back to the office, going back to the studio. Um... I've got some, I, I'm, I'm in meetings all day. You know those kind of things that people say to make themselves appear more bigger than what they are? Like, it's a very odd thing. Or when people do that thing on some, some, some communities even do it. Uh, I, I know some DJs do it also. Or they'll put like a fake agent's name on their booking um, section of their website to make it look like they're represented by somebody. Where, but really, all the emails are going to, it's just them answering it from a different name. Do you know what I mean? Um, people are saying here, narcissism. Um, Jay Sanders say he, he, he suffers from arrested development, spoiled rich kid syndrome. Um, Jimmy Hart's purple, Jimmy Hart's purple rain says insecurity. Michelle Bergman says desperately, um, des desperately what? Desperately narcissist, desperately just seeking attention. The robot says narcissist. Jack Miner says he's called a practical liar. The robot says use your use your megaphone. What am I? Am I talking too loud? Sorry about that. <laughs> Amy says we who Jimmy Hart don't do it. What, what, what's Jimmy Hart doing? What's he doing here? Uh, I have a crush on your mission videos. Oh, look at that. We're getting, there's love in the chat, man. Love in the chat. Yeah. If there's love in the chat and some of some of you get married, you best make sure you invite me to DJ at your wedding. As long as you invite me to DJ, I'll let you guys hook up in the chat. <laughs> um, Frank Lopez says, when he called a man a dying piece during his stand-up special, I, I was like, what the fuck refers to a man as a dying piece? Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, everyone's saying, it's, everyone's saying the same thing, narcissism and immaturity. But okay, cool. But anyway, that's what I wanted to point out. I thought that was really odd. I thought that was really strange. But maybe it's just me.